Fastlane. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use some other modes on the Push Hacker. Hi, I'm Freddy Frogs, Certified Ableton Trainer. In the previous tutorial on the Push Hacker, I show you how to use the toggle mode, the momentary mode, the on and off mode, and also how to map a dial or rotary on your push. This time I'm going to show you how to use the select track mode and the solo button mode. Let's use the select track mode first. Let's click on the click to select button to select a feature on push, for example, this pad on the matrix. So using this mode, you can select a specific track, audio or MIDI at any time using a dedicated button. To do this, you need to first select a track, highlight its track header and set the selected track right there. That's it, now it's been mapped. You can still choose, select a different track using the buttons here below the screen, but if you hit here, it will always select the track you'd chosen that way, you see? Let's now use the click to select button to, to select another feature on push, for example, this part of the cursor, and now use the solo track button. Once again, you need to select the track, highlight its track header that way, and then hit the set selected track button. That's it. Now I can solo and unsolo this track using this part of the cursor on push. This mapping will always be toggle as default. If you hit this button here, you can revert it into momentary so that the solo switch never stays locked in. Well, if it does stay locked in like this, you can revert its mapping using the solo button itself. So now you see I can solo momentarily. And when I lift my finger off the button, it reverts back to normal. And of course you can still set the color of the mapping if needed.